This is Mary Tobin at Oracle Open World 2011. I'm here with David Bomzer, who is Senior Director for Oracle Financial Services. David, this week you're speaking about client-centric commercial banking and how banks can get to that particular focus. What are some of the driving needs for banks today in terms of transforming their commercial banking offerings? Thank you, Mary. With the uh, repeal of Reg Q that's part of the Dodd-Frank law, banks are now permitted to pay interest on business deposits. Now, Reg Q, which dates back to the uh, Banking Act of 1933, gave rise to a series of unintended consequences. Uh, banks came up with a lot of very complex workarounds, such as uh, earnings credits, account analysis, and controlled disbursement accounts. With its repeal and banks being able to pay interest, once lending returns to pre-credit crisis levels, banks will find themselves in a very unique position to compete for corporate deposits that are typically swept out each day. Mm -hmm. And how are the offerings likely to change going forward? What are we likely to see? I think we're likely to see a lot more bundling for banks in terms of business services to get competitive in getting those deposits. And all this should occur once lending returns to pre-credit crisis levels. Because today banks tend to have a surplus of cash that they leave on deposit in the feds. They're just not making loans due to deleveraging. So once we're back to normal, banks have a tremendous opportunity to bundle services. Additionally, with some provisions right now happening with other parts of the uh, Dodd-Frank Law, the Durbin Amendment in, sp in particular, banks are finding it very challenging to earn uh, returns on their retail accounts. So uh, the employees of corporations are finding it harder and harder to come by free checking accounts. This gives banks the opportunity to take employee banking services such as payroll cards and bank at work, put them together with corporate accounts and really deepen relationships. Interesting, interesting. And what role will IT play in the transformation? Well, many banks today work on 30 to 40 year old uh, mainframe systems that are not agile. They really they spend the bulk of their time keeping the lights on and keeping pace with ever increasing regulations. With uh, technology, banks have an opportunity to replace those old systems that the resources to support them are harder and harder to come by. Replace them with newer systems that have plentiful resources that, get, that make use of parameters and reusable objects, really shift that balance around to focus on the competitive enabling from the compulsory activities and will really give them a leg up on competition.